Now what I'd like to do is set up our modes. Um, and we saw this in the uh, one of the first few videos where I went through the files. Um, what I want to do is we want to make this log.php a multi-use file. Right now it really just has one purpose and that's to spit out these table rows. So what we're going to do is a switch case. If you're not familiar with those, starts with switch. parameter, which we're going to do get mode. And within here, we put in cases. So the first case, we'll call this build. We end that with a colon and, and a break. So inside here is what's going to happen when we run the build mode, which the build mode is going to end up being this, building out the table. So we're just going to go ahead and move that in here. We're going to need to get rid of this closing PHP tag. And we can tidy this up a little bit and save. Now if we go back to our page and refresh, we will not get anything and we're going to have uh, an error. So what we need to do is go over to our JavaScript and add that to our URL. So log PHP mode equals build. Save that, refresh, there you go. So now we have a way to make this into a multi-use situation. But what's cool is we get to continue to use the data set up here each time. So we're, we're using that same data but we can do different things with it depending on which mode we call. We're going to do just a little bit more math, get that out of the way. Um, we're going to do the uh, total tally here. So let's go in and in data JSON, we need to get an end date for this task for one. Let's go back to our little timestamp tool here, refresh, and we get this timestamp. Put it in there for the end. And then let's just go ahead and copy this whole record. So go all the way from curly bracket to curly bracket. Copy, paste, comma, paste. And you might want to turn on word wrap so you can see everything. And soon here we won't be doing this by hand. Uh, we'll have this automatically populate this list. So this can be kind of cumbersome. So change this to two. Just the two. We can st keep the start and end date the same. Doesn't matter as long as there's a difference, so we have some extra time. And let's go to our project. Refresh. There you go. So each one has 21 minutes. Um, and actually, while we're at it, let's change the uh, end date here to be a date nice also. Um, but for this we actually need to do something similar to this here. Uh, we need to make sure that there's actually an end date before we try and run that function. Otherwise we'll get um, a bad date. Let's go ahead and take out that equal sign. Enter if task date end is equal to nothing. Or actually let's do it's not equal to an empty string then do something. And that something is going to be echo date nice task date end. And let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. that, refresh, there we go. So now we have a nice end date. Now let's do our tally. Alright, so we're going to use our uh, Ajax file here, log.php. We're going to build another, or create another case. I'm going to just do it above here. Case, 
go this one tally and break for the end now we need to do some similar things here we need to run through the data so let's go ahead and copy this uh, this uh, for each here give yourself a closing curly bracket All right, so what we need to do is we need to run through each one of these and accumulate a total number of seconds. So let's get a start point here. Let's call this count and we'll start it at zero. We need to get the total elapsed from each task. So similar to the one we did before, we did, or what we did below here. Actually, we can just go ahead and copy that. Task end minus task start. Now let's do count equals. And we're going to count again plus, and then in parentheses, date end minus date start. So we're going to take whatever the count is at the moment, which if it's the first time through, it's going to be zero, plus the end uh, seconds minus the start seconds. And it's going to run through that again and again and again and accumulate a total to which we're going to go ahead and echo out. Let's echo time. Nice. And count. So there is the tally mode. So now we need to do something with that. Let's hop over to index.php, scroll up to our header area, and here's our total time. After the colon, let's do a span tag. And this is really just to give this the ability to have an ID. So we'll give it ID equals tally. Save that. Hop over to our JavaScript. We're going to pretty much mimic this here. So tally load log.php mode equals tally. Close that off. Save that. Hop back over to our page and refresh. There you go. There's the total. 42 minutes. Now we'll need to tweak that a little more. Um, to handle some different cases um, if uh, end time hasn't been made yet or uh, we need to check to make sure that there's only showing active tasks, things like that. But we'll, we'll get to that later.